Hi guys, it's Dallas with your two minute tip for today. We are gonna talk about the pH chart. Yep, we're still on chemistry. So get your books and your notes out right now. So what pH means is potential hydrogen. And that is the measurement of something that is acidic or alkalinity of a solution. Now that pH chart is from zero to 14 and it's measured in logarithm, which means that it is 10 times fold for the next step. Now, to help you understand it a little bit, let's look at that chart. From zero to 14, water lives at seven, which is halfway in between both sides. So it's 50% alkalinity and 50% of acidic. So to understand where I'm going here, your hair, skin, and nails live at 4.5 to 5.5, which means that water is a little stronger than your hair, skin, and nails. Now, just to give you an idea of some certain things, when you're doing relaxers or when you're doing perms or when you're doing color, they generally live, or they do live, more on the alkalinity side. So if they're more alkaline, they're anywhere from 9.5 to up to 13 on that chart. So let's just give you an understanding of the jump between moving from a five, let's just say that the hair is a five on the chart. You're living on the acidic side. Just moving one step up to six is 10 times stronger than where your hair is. Well, if you move it up to seven, that means that it is at another hundred because it's 10 times 10, or add another zero. That means that it is 100 times stronger than the actual hair itself. So that would explain why when putting water on you, or you're taking a shower, water can dry you out. So you're thinking, oh, it's water, I'm gonna get moisture. Well, mm, uh, your body lives on the acidic side and your water is at that seven. So with it being 100 times stronger, that's two times step up there. That's 100 times stronger. It's going to make your skin a little dry, which is why you would use products that are more moisturizing. That's why there are moisturizers that are out there to help you add moisture to your skin, which is generally in some cases um, more on that acidic side. So it's going to help you bring that level back down to that 5.5 or 5 or 4.5. It's going to help move it down that chart a little bit more for you. And so that's the purpose of understanding the pH chart, understanding where your hair, skin, or nails live on that chart. So since we're talking about hair and this is for our hair brand, then think about where hair lives. If it's living at 4.5 to 5.5, you wanna always make sure that you're using a product that's helping it bring it back down to that level of that 4.5 to 5.5, using products that are you know, focused on being more acidic, and if you're going into an area of being alkaline by adding a perm or adding color, just remember, find products that's gonna help you bring that back down to that level of 4.5 to 5.5. You may not get it all the way down there, but at least you're focusing on balancing out where you need to be with your hair extensions. So that's my tip for you guys today. Thanks, bye-bye.